Why would Disney want this particular deal to go through? Well, Disney has its eye on uh, all of the, the entertainment that, that Fox makes. Uh, it has its eye on the, the stake in Sky of the UK. Dis uh, Fox owns 39% of that. It owns a movie studio. It owns uh, cable TV networks. It has a studio that makes big uh, movie franchises like Avatar and X-Men. It's going to We'll, we'll get all of that if the, the deal goes through, and it'll mean that Disney has a much broader, uh, bigger global offering that it can sell to people around the world, wherever they are, and they'll be able to, to watch Disney Entertainment on, the, uh, on a streaming service, which Disney is, a, is about to launch. So if all those assets are so appealing, why would Rupert Murdoch want to sell them? Well, Ru Rupert said on the call, uh, a call with uh, investors a, a, a little while ago that uh, it wasn't a retreat, that it was a, a pivot at a pivotal moment. And the pivotal moment is that is this that, that the world of entertainment is changing. I think faster than than Rupert and his company were uh, are growing. I mean, Netflix has, and and companies like Netflix have really changed the way people watch and consume uh, TV entertainment. People no longer really want to sit down in front of the uh, the TV at a certain time to watch TV when they're told to watch it. They'd rather be in control of watching uh, shows when they want, so which means. Using the internet means you subscribing to streaming services, and you're only going to subscribe to a streaming service if it's got everything on there that you want. And Rupert Murdoch and Fox don't have a broad enough uh, library or a broad, broad enough suite of, of of movies and TV programming uh, programs to to persuade, I think, people around the world to to subscribe to something like that. What's it going to mean for customers here? Well, it means that in in the UK that that uh, Sky was. It, it, is going to be eventually taken over by Disney. Um, this deal is probably going to take about a year to go through uh, US regulators. And in, it, at the end of that process, assuming it gets cleared, uh, Disney will be either the 40% owners or the 100% owners of Sky. And that kind of also depends on whether or not regulators here approve the, uh, the Fox uh, purchase of Sky, which is going through the, the, the process at the moment. So it gets a bit complicated. But the bottom line is Sky, as we know it, this big, the, the huge UK pay TV company is uh, going to end up in Disney's hands. What shape and focus will the Murdoch Empire have then once this deal's gone through? Well, they're not giving up completely. I mean, they're giving up on, on global uh, video entertainment, but they're going to still own a, a, a big business in the United States. They're going to own Fox News, which is, as we see, is becoming more and more influential because it's the daily viewing of, of President Trump. Uh, and it makes a lot of money. They're going to own a big TV network, uh, the Fox network itself in the, in the US, and they'll still own News Corp, which is a separate business, which obviously owns UK newspapers like uh, The Sun and The Times and The Wall Street Journal in the US. So it's not as if they're vanishing into the distance. The, the Murdochs will still be around, but they're, they're, you know, they're, they are pivoting to, in this different direction. Matthew Garahan, Global Media Editor at the Financial Times. Thank you very much.